So I thought I'd talk a little bit in this video about the real benefits of lucid dreaming, why you would want to actually do it. And if you're wondering why I sound or look a bit weird, it's because it's absolutely freezing. It's below zero and I've been walking around for about two hours now. <laughs> and uh, this is the view. This is where I'm walking today. So, the benefits of lucid dreaming, and that makes no sense by the way if you're listening to this podcast, but the benefits of lucid dreaming are basically you can do anything you can imagine within your mind. And for those of you who don't know, if you've stumbled across this video, lucid dreaming is basically where you become aware of the fact that you're dreaming while you're still asleep. And what this means, what this allows you to do is it means that you can decide what to dream about. And then on top of that, it actually improves your sleep. So your sleep quality and how rested you feel or, you know, seem in the morning is improved, which is obviously a huge benefit because sleep, as you probably know, affects anything else, everything else, your health, your energy, your mindset, really anything, anything that you can imagine is affected by your sleep quality. So to be able to use something like lucid dreaming to improve your sleep is really quite a powerful thing. That's one of the main benefits in my opinion is it improves uh, your sleep, more restorative sleep, more energy, better life. Another really big one, and this is something I've used many times in my own life, is the motivation aspect. So because you can lucid dream and kind of simulate anything you want, you build a lot of confidence. You can really get motivated and inspired because let's say if you want to, I don't know, start a business or travel the world or climb a mountain, you can do those things in a dream with no consequences and with no, what if I fail? There's none of that because it's a dream. So you can use it to kind of practice things and simulate things that you might not be quite ready to do in the real world. And then of course, when you wake up, you bring that with you. The confidence stays with you and you start to really believe in yourself and really think and believe that you can do these things. So that's another huge benefit of lucid dreaming that I found really powerful. Not to mention the fact that, let's say if you're a, an artist or a musician, or if you just want to be more creative for something, you're a writer, let's say, you can use lucid dreaming directly to get inspiration and ideas. And I've done this many times. Many of these videos are the idea was sparked in a lucid dream, especially my more creative and kind of unusual ones. And, you know, many of my business ideas even have come to me in dreams. Many of my uh, inspiration to travel to certain countries has come from dreams and specifically lucid dreams. So it's really powerful in that way. And then another thing, which is, in my opinion, one of the most profound things is that you can use lucid dreaming to connect to something bigger than yourself, something outside of yourself, spiritual, something like a higher power or a collective unconscious. There's all kinds of different definitions for this, but you can use it to connect to something outside of just you. And I think that's really quite special. Another thing which I find very interesting, now, luckily I haven't had to personally use this that much, but I know people who have, and that is healing. So you can, actually, you can actually use lucid dreaming to heal your physical body. And this has been documented many times. There's different stories and anecdotes and little studies about this. It's really interesting, right? Now, obviously you can't do things, you can't do crazy things. You, basically, the limits of this is that you can use lucid dreaming to heal your body, to heal things that are affected or caused by an internal process. So you can't, for example, use it to grow a leg back, for example, I've not seen any evidence of that, but I have seen evidence of it used to heal and cure all kinds of conditions, symptoms, diseases, and problems that you could say are caused internally by things like stress, digestion, mindset even, and things that happen inside the body, which when they're healed, you can't physically see it because it's happening internally. For those things, I've seen lucid dreaming really do wonders and it's worked wonders for me and other people I know. I don't know if you saw uh, the interview I did with Erica, which is where she talked about, it's on my channel, uh, she talked about how she used lucid dreaming in her own words to cure cancer. And I'm not saying, you know, I believe 100% that anyone and everyone can do that, but it's very interesting. And if you listen to her story, she really explains in quite a lot of detail how she was able to do this. And another thing which there is a lot of research to, to suggest is very possible and people do, is that you can learn and practice real life skills and actually improve at them in real life by practicing them in a dream. And this is something which is just mind blowing, uh, really. I mean, all of this is mind blowing actually, but to be able to practice real life skills would give you such an edge. I mean, imagine if you're an athlete or a whatever it is, right? chess player or something, you can practice these skills inside your dream and actually improve at them in real life. How crazy is that? Imagine what an edge you can have using that over the competition or even just over yourself. You can just improve significantly faster using time that you were going to spend asleep anyway. So if you're completely new to lucid dreaming, which yeah, you might be, you might not be, depending on how you found this video. Um, I do have lots of videos explaining in detail how to do this on my channel. You just need to go and click my channel and watch some of them. I do also have a community called the Lucid Tribe, which is if you want a more kind of personalized help with this, and if you want to ask your specific questions and get help with that, you can go to howtolucid.com forward slash lucid tribe. The link's in the description. But yeah, I hope you 
found this useful and I hope that in some way this motivated you or reminded you to get excited about lucid dreaming and actually learn how to do it. There's obviously loads more benefits, thousands more actually. Now these are just some of the ones that I wanted to share with you today. So let me know in the comments what you think the best benefits of lucid dreaming are in your opinion and I'll see you next time.